Hey guys, Amber here with 1898 Mama, and I am sorry I have been pretty absent lately, um, but if you don't know me, I am, like I said, Amber. I live in South Dakota. Um, I am pregnant with my fifth kid. I homeschool my kids. I homestead. Um, I like kind of all things fitness, health, wellness related. Um, so yeah, if you are into any of those things, hit the subscribe button because, well, I'd like to do twice a week, but as of right now, it's very randomly I am making videos, so hit the button so you can be aware of when I do make videos. Um, so yeah, let's get into what I'm going to talk to today. I am 34 weeks and two days along with baby number five, and I'm going to give you an update right now. Okay, so here is my 34 week, two day pregnancy with baby number five update. I'm very sorry that I don't do more updates. However, quite honestly, I don't feel like too much changes from month to, or week to week. Um, it does change month to month. Obviously, baby is bigger, things change in size. But week to week, I don't notice very many differences. And I don't know if that's because I am so busy with other things or what. But Anyway, here's an update from, I don't even know when I did my last one, maybe 2018, but this pregnancy is just flying by, um, and honestly, I'm not, I don't even feel like I'm really 34 weeks right now. I feel like I still have all the time in the world, and then I think about it, and I'm like, yeah, no, not really. Um, so, let's talk pain, honestly. Um, my hip my thighs are in a lot of pain. I don't ever remember that with other pregnancies, but this pregnancy, hip and thigh pain is taking the cake on all the things. Um, I take nightly baths, and I am not a bath person, but I do take nightly Epsom salt baths um, a few times a week whenever I'm feeling crazy. I'll throw in some pink Himalayan salt or pink iced sea salt, um, and then I always shred some goat milk soap in there. Um, if I had bubbles, I'd probably put bubbles in there, but I don't have bubbles. So, it is helping with the pain, but yeah, nightly baths are definitely a thing that you need to do when you are pregnant. It is a must. It definitely makes a difference. So, um, lower back pain is a little bit there, but it's more in the middle back. Every other pregnancy, basically, honestly, as soon as the kid is conceived, like lower back pain is always there and I'm always going like this. But this one, not so much. It's there a little bit, but not not super bad. It's mostly after like a long day um, of either sitting and or standing. Or, so if I sit too long or if I stand too long and I'm not doing my sitting turns, that's when I definitely notice my, my lower back pain. Um, I'm having breasts and hips. There's a few that have definitely um, made me feel like Rachel from Friends where I'm like, oh, Thankful, um, but they are breast and hips. Um, insomnia is still a thing. It's not going away until baby's born. But every single night, between one and three, I wake up just right before the baby starts. Um, and then about six thirty-ish, I'll be like, okay, it's bedtime. Um, so it definitely sucks. But what do you do, right? Let's see. I. Did I say my weight gain yet? I've only gained 25 pounds, um, which is my lowest I've ever gained with a pregnancy. Normally, by the end of the pregnancy, in my first three, I gained about 60 pounds. Baby number four, I think I only gained 40 pounds. But this one, I'm only at 25 pounds now. So um, it'll be interesting to see how much I, I gained because with this pregnancy, I'm giving myself a lot more grace. I am not working out daily. Um, I am trying to do one to two weightlifting sessions, sessions a week. It's honestly closer to the one mark right now. Um, and I am trying to do a couple walks in a week. I would like to do every day, but snow has came. It has gotten cold in South Dakota. And I'm just not a cold person and the treadmill bores me. So, um, yeah, I've actually barely been doing that for the last two weeks, honestly. Um, neck pains, 
I'm pretty sure it started yesterday. I was halfway through the afternoon and I realized what I was doing and I had moved the kitchen table, I had picked up the rug over underneath the kitchen table and I was on my hands and knees mopping the floor um, underneath the rug and I was like, oh yeah, this is probably, you're probably messy right now because that's not a chore I normally do with anyone. Quite honestly. Um, and then I totally rearranged like where we eat. I dusted and reorganized like our homeschool hutch. So, and then today I totally have the want to go upstairs into what we call our gun room where we keep all of our guns and I want to clean it all. Um, but I have not done it yet. Yet. I might still do it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so nesting kicked in yesterday. And then what else? Oh, I filled out an Amazon baby registry. Not because I'm having a baby shower and not because I expect people to buy me things, but because I'm going to buy them myself. And then once I fulfill like their, you bought however much percentage of the baby registry, we're going to give you free baby stuff. I'm going to do that. And then if it's stuff in there that I won't use, I know exactly where to donate it to. Um, so there's a tip for all you moms out there, even if you're not having a baby shower, um, fill out an Amazon baby registry and then buy it yourself. I'm pretty sure Target also does the thing where, and I might be wrong, so if I'm wrong, comment down below so moms don't go to Target saying, well, Amber told me. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can sign up for a baby registry and they give you like a baby welcome kit thing. Um, I haven't tried that, but I think that's what they do. Um, let's see what else. I did have a prenatal appointment at 31 weeks and 5 days. Um, baby was head down. However, I can feel that myself. I can definitely feel him kicking up here and hunting down here. So, that's good. I don't know when I'm going to have another prenatal appointment. Probably 37 weeks, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how I feel, I guess. Um, I did get a hookah, or hookah, hookah? I don't know how to say it. So the, the pump for when you're breastfeeding. Um, so I do totally want to make a video. Remind me later if I forget, because I want to make a video on the hookah versus, I don't even know what, what I use now it's called, and see which one um, gives me a little mouth and which one's better. I totally want to review those. I think it would be really fun, um, because I am a nurse. <laughs> But I, I think that's it. That's all I've got written down for you guys. I do still have to buy a breast pump um, with baby number four. I got a Factor Best breast pump, and I loved it so much more than the Bella. Um, but I broke it, so this baby needs a new one. Um, luckily, I broke the breast pump like right before I got pregnant with this one, so my other kid. feeding journey anyway. Not because I forced him to get off, but because he just, he just sucked. Um, I'm not doing freezer meals. I never do. Um, last baby, there was a huge cereal sale, like two days before I gave birth. There was a huge cereal sale at one of our stores. Um, so we bought like $50, $70 worth of cereal and my kids lived on cereal for a week, which is not healthy, but it got me by. So highly suggest that because it's probably what we're going to be doing again this time. I'm not going to lie. It was very nice. Kids can get their own cereal. You can drink it on the couch. Um, yeah, so I think that's really all I got for you for 34 week pregnancy update. I'm sorry that they're not, I don't know, more. I don't really know how to make it more because I don't feel like much is happening besides pain. I want to basically sit on the couch all day. I don't want to be homeschooling my kids right now. I don't want to be doing all of the things right now. So I am doing like bare minimum. Um, and I am okay with that because mental health is very important, not just your physical health. So that is what I have for you guys for a 34 week update with baby number five. And hopefully I will make another video here soon for you guys so we can definitely stay in touch. If you are interested in pregnancy updates, hit the 
like button, comment down below, something like that. Um, kind of give me a little bit of oh the I don't know. <laughs> I guess maybe you guys can talk to me in a minute. If there's anything you want to know about, comment down below and I'll um possibly make a video on it. There is one topic I haven't really discussed yet. Um but it is about the birth and Bye.